Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I was working on this rock for something else. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to. It's been sitting to the side and I finally decided I'm gonna zentangle over the top of it. So we're just gonna do this fun design. I'm gonna break it down step by step and you can do this on any base coat. I suggest doing something that's bright to shine through. We're gonna be using our black 1M Posca. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a couple intersections on the rock. So we're going to go a wavy line horizontally across. We're gonna place a dot that we're gonna aim for and then we're gonna do a wavy line in another direction. Now, we're gonna add a few dots. We want one at the edge, each of these edges already. And then we can add a few on some of our longer lines here. And then we are going to connect the ones that we can. So I want to actually add, let's see here. Let's do one more wavy line that goes from here to here. And then that way we can add these together. So these two will connect. And these two way out here can connect. These two here can connect. We'll decide what to do. We can add one actually here on the edge that these ones are going to as well. All right, so now with each of our sections, we're gonna start building out these petals. They'll almost look like flowers. So I'll start with this one here. You want to start close to your center line. and you can arch away, but you wanna pinch back in when you get to the intersection. And the reason you wanna pinch back in is because you're gonna do that here as well. So you wanna make sure you're not overlapping a lot. So we're gonna turn it and we'll do this one next. So one little one here close by. Okay, you see that? So I like to go around and add about two on either side and then we can start filling in the space. So I'll speed some of this up while you're watching and I might pan forward if it gets a little long even like that. So once you finish going around and doing about the same amount, you can really start filling in these spaces with lines um, until they're complete. I like to kind of work my way around so that your thicknesses are coming off or you can decide this is my main flower. I think these look like flowers or star. So that's the one I wanna make big first. So you can come through and just continue to add one petal for lack of better words at a time some thickness to your uh, main shape and you can just keep going around in circles filling in until your design is all lines So when you get into a small shape like this, you can decide if you want to add your petals until you can't quite get them. And then you can still add a couple extra lines just to finish up the space. It doesn't have to go all the way through. So when you finally get to these last couple spaces here on your rock, just work those angles and those curves 
to fill in as far as you can go. And it just makes this really beautiful design. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, something a little bit different for you to give a go. Um, if you want to, you can make a nice solid edge black line around the outside. Um, I actually have some black paint over here. I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, while I'm saying goodbye here, I'll show a picture at the end of it complete. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to Rock Painting 101. Give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And feel free to join our email list. We have an email that we send out from our website. The link to that is located below as well. You guys have a fabulous day. We'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.